What up guys, how are we all doing? Thank you for tuning back up on the channel here today for another Fortnite video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about five brand new hidden secrets or features in Fortnite that I'm guaranteeing you didn't know about. Some of these features are going to get you more XP in games and then some of them as well are going to actually help you win more games in Fortnite, which is awesome. So before we dive into this list of hidden secrets and features that I'm guaranteeing most of you guys will never have known about. Before we get into today's video guys, if you could do me a huge favour, you should know what to do by now okay go down drop a big fat like on today's video i've been go for 2500 likes on today's video i think you guys can smash that and here is last week's giveaway battle pass winner up on screen here he's going to be able to buy season four because he won last week's giveaway and i'm starting up a new one as of today so if you want to enter that all you got to do drop a like on today's video subscribe to the channel down below because at the end of the week i always pick a subscriber to win the battle pass giveaway and then make sure you comment in in the comment section down below season four battle pass that's it if you end up winning i give you a gift card code you can actually buy the battle pass with it if you want or you can go and buy skin and uh, yeah it's entirely up to you so let's hop in to these hidden secrets that you probably never knew about you can take advantage of as of literally right now you can get more xp in games rank up quicker and there's some like awesome hidden things in game that will actually make you win more games in fortnite as well so let's go straight into this list starting off with the first one which is pretty cool actually so you see a llama off in the distance you think oh look a llama let me go open it but wait what you don't realise is, you shouldn't actually open that llama when you approach it. Instead of opening it, which takes like 10 seconds to open, what you can do is actually pickaxe it, and it will destroy it in like 4 pickaxe hits. Or if you want to, you can shoot it as well. Don't worry, it won't disappear. It will actually open up the llama super, super quick, instead of sitting there holding it, you know, you're standing still. You know, there's a possibility while you're standing still opening it, you're going to get sniped or you're going to get easily shot. With this feature, you can now actually hit the llama with your pickaxe and it will destroy it within like four hits which is like so much quicker than opening it the conventional way by sitting there holding it open you can shoot the llama or pickaxe it and it will break it super super quick so that's obviously one way when you find a llama this will help you win more games okay because you're not going to be sitting there you're not going to get shot whilst opening the llama you'll, you'll feel a little bit more safe so uh yeah that is the first awesome feature in fortnite that you probably didn't know about now next up is actually a feature that will actually get you more battle stars so you'll be able to rank up a lot quicker on your battle pass. So if you didn't know, if you complete all the challenges each week, you know, you get a nice little end screen now. A nice little card to show up on the screen before you get in game. Pretty cool, right? But if you look at these cards even closer each week, there's a little secret that's hidden within these. So in the first week of this season, season 4, as you can see on top of one of the jails, there is like a, a battle star that you can go and collect once you've completed all the week challenges. So if you completed week 1 challenges, if you go to this location, you'll be able to redeem that battle star and you'll actually get 10 battle stars when completing it so you'll be able to rank up your battle pass a lot quicker this week just gone week two was actually like some scribbles on the wall coordinates if you go to this coordinates there'll be another battle star there for you to redeem which is awesome so an awesome way to rank up a lot quicker at the end of each week once you've completed all the challenges you get your little end screen look at it very closely there might be some hidden secrets in it to locate you to a new place where there's going to be an extra battle star for you to redeem it's awesome right next up a feature that's probably not useful but it's pretty cool you can actually get back to the spawn island okay so i believe you can't actually do this anymore but when the guided missile was out what you could do is shoot it towards the spawn island disconnect your internet and you'd keep on going and would be able to control it without it blowing up which was pretty cool and people were able to get over to the spawn island whilst mid game a feature that you probably didn't know about that actually existed that you could actually get back to the spawn island i know a lot of people actually tried it with rpg rocket riding and stuff but someone actually managed to get there with a guided missile which is a pretty cool feature i think right next up something that's quite hot in the community at the moment is the bunker in Wailing Woods and what you probably didn't know is that you can actually open this bunker now what you'll need is a port fort and once you find the bunker in Wailing Woods what you do just throw the port fort on the bunker and then what you do just destroy the port fort and as you can see you'll be able to see within the bunker which is pretty cool something that's going to be added within the next couple of weeks is like we'll see development around that bunker some things will start to happen like tunnels and stuff like that we'll be able to see exactly what's going on with that bunker so the pretty cool feature if you didn't know you can actually open the bunker a cool little secret within Fortnite I highly suggest if you have the opportunity Try and test it out. 
Now, a concept I actually saw on Reddit, which I thought would be pretty interesting if we saw it added into the game. It's not in the game, don't get me wrong. But something that I saw on Reddit was that once we complete weekly challenges, some of the stuff that we could get, we could go to certain cash machines on the map and redeem V-Bucks, okay? So, if we completed all the challenges for the week, maybe we get something, a sort of reward. Maybe a couple of hundred V-Bucks that we can go to ATMs or the cash registers on the map, go and redeem them. I thought it was a pretty cool idea because V-Bucks aren't the easiest thing to get. And if you don't want to spend money on the game, then there's no way of earning V-Bucks. So it's a cool way. Maybe people will be able to buy skins and stuff. It's an easy way for people to do it. I thought it was a pretty cool concept and I wanted to add it in this video. Right, and this last feature to wrap up this video, a pretty big one and controversial one within the community. In the files of the game, there is features which allow us to drive vehicles in Fortnite and in particular, the shopping carts. So if you've been to the racetrack on Fortnite, you know there's a bunch of shopping carts there. I actually made a video about this like a couple of months back when the files actually dropped. But in the files of the game, it shows that we will be able to drive vehicles in Fortnite. Now, whether or not they'll actually add them in, we don't know. But this could change Fortnite completely. You know, people driving around in shopping carts. Yeah, that's pretty mad. If that actually happens, Fortnite, I think it's very controversial. Like the jetpack, they actually ended up taking that out of the game and other stuff as well. Will they be adding in shopping carts and drivable vehicles in Fortnite? Let me know in the comment section down below if you think it's going to happen. But, yeah, that is in the files of the game. It's a possibility it might happen, but I'm hoping it's not. It's a secret in the game. Not many people know about it because it's in the files, deep in the files of the game, that data miners managed to find. Yeah. Shopping carts look like they're going to be drivable in the very, very near future. Now, that's going to wrap up today's video. Some awesome features in Fortnite. Some of them will help you rank up a lot quicker with your battle pass. In particular, getting that battle star, the secret one every week. Some of them are just awesome tips like breaking the llama, which means you're able to get the loot out of it even quicker than sitting down and holding to open it. So, hopefully you found this useful in some way. Some of the stuff in here probably help you guys. Um, but yeah, if you did go on and enjoy today's video, if you could do me a huge favour, go down. Drop a big fat like on today's video. That would be very much appreciated. And if you want to enter this week's Season 4 Battle Pass giveaway, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel down below and make sure you're commenting in the comment section. Season 4 Battle Pass. Turn on notifications and subscribe to my second channel which will be linked in the description down below. I highly suggest you go over there if you want to see some awesome live gameplays. Then that is the play. Apart from that, hopefully you guys went on and found this video somewhat useful. You found some new tips in here. Some hidden secrets that you could probably use in game now. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. I'll catch you guys later. It's been your boy Matt Max. And a peace out. Kills wise. Okay, yeah, I see him on the hill. Okay, they're fighting. No, he shotgunned him. Where was he? Is he going for the loot? Okay, we're going to go around the back here. Ooh, someone's built some big metal stairs. Stairways to heaven. No, uh, no. Oh, flip, where is he? No, 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 no. Hold on, I'm going to build a little one, be one by one here. Just so I can get an outlook. Because... Building bases saves lives too. Minis and building bases saves lives. Oh, okay. I've built under this. Hold up. Let me go around. We'll use these stairs now. We've kind of built like a nice little platform. Let's work with it. Get a nice... He's shooting at me, isn't he? No. He is. Okay, bro. Don't move. Please, next time you do that, don't move. I need to kill you. Thanks, bro. Headshot. 90 meters. Gren fly hard. Bro, don't peek your head for that long, especially with a minigun. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Bro, I just took his head off. Right. Where are these other people at? There's two left. There's also that guy on the floor. I reckon he's probably in a bush right now. Control the zone. That's how you win. If you've got the big Donny base, you control stuff. Oh, I built that outside. My bad. Right. You know what? Where is he? Do you reckon he's in a bush over there? Flip and have a look, shall we? He flipping is. Look at him. Oh my god, Bloom just didn't want to work for me. They're right. We're going to pummel him with nades. We've got 58 of them. Come here, buddy. We're going to push him out. Where the flip is he? Is he behind that one? He must be. For God's sake. This is awkward. Wait there. I can get a nice little angle on that. Come on. Break his stuff. Oh my. He tried shotgunning me? Are you good, bro? Oh yeah, I saw him. Hold up. Flip. This angle is just... What is he doing? Oh, he's hella weak, though. 
What is he doing? What is he doing? My dude. Hold up. Just go around here and I'll just 